story seekers, today we're talking about Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. You are now watching Lizzie Books. So we got these three girls from three different, very, very different pasts, and there is Kat, Mary, and Lilia, and Kat and Lilia used to be friends through their friend Rennie, and, uh, did not so much friends anymore. And so these three girls magically get together. It's, it's very fluid, but at the same time, you're just like, how? What? So the three of them are trying to seek revenge on three different people that have wronged them in the past. Mary was basically, uh, she basically ran off the island. She moved away. Family moved away. Like, just her family moved away. Went back to the mainland and was like, mm -mm, we're not dealing with this anymore. Because one of her basically secret best friends, because he never... Uh, you know, never talk to her to her face other than to say mean things in public in front of like, you know, school people. But then, uh, you know, on the way home, he would be super nice to her. And then one day, he's just awful. And you find out why. For Lilia, she's looking out for her younger sister and she's like, you're hanging out with this guy. He's not good for you even though he's my guy best friend and I know him well. Very well. There are some things in her past that she just, you know, she's looking out for her younger sister. She means well. She really does. But just her heart sometimes is just like, gets a little crazy. Gets a little angry. Get a little Hulk smashy. There was a time where she just runs into the bathroom and starts crying. And it's just not pretty. And then with Kat, uh, her ex-best friend, Rennie, who is actually best friends now with Lilia. Um, Rennie keeps trash talking Kat. And uh, Kat's like, I, no no more. So in this book you see each revenge take place. I thought that maybe there would be three books and three acts of revenge in those books, but all three happen in this book in different kind of ways and in very surprising ways uh, with different kinds of, uh, you know, you think about the consequences to these things and you really do see the consequence of their actions, like, uh, like right then and there. It's not like these things happen and, oh, whoever is, you know, their revenge is upon just learns their lesson and moves on. And like, you know, these people are, you know, for the most part, like, Lilia is really good friends with the people who they're seeking revenge on and so she really sees up close and personal uh, how this affects them, but also the fact that, like, um, you know, especially with the first act of revenge, like, that's the guy, you know, she's been friends with for, like, the longest time. Something that I really, really liked about the narration of this book, and I talked to my friend Allie from Magnet for Books, uh, vlog, and, uh, we were talking about how, like, the three characters, like, they alternate chapters and everything, but they are three distinct voices, and so you don't get confused whatsoever. It's just basically, you know, these three people you know, it's, sometimes they're reacting to the same thing, but, you know, um, they're three very distinct people. They're very different in how they interact with people and their histories and, you know, this, that, and the other. But overall, I really liked this book. It was great. I just, it's contemporary and it's in that whole revenge thing, but I really liked how, I don't know, it's just like, it, it was very, you know, you saw the consequences and you know, like, how these people react as if they are real people. Uh, but also, you know, because it's a contemporary, but, um, I just liked that. I liked that they weren't just like, oh, free for all, we can do whatever we want. Not consequences as in these girls are going to jail or anything like that, but consequences as in, like, not only do they revenge upon people, like, they receive, you know, the revenge, but, you know, the people who are seeking revenge also, you know, upon doing those things, you know, they get something back and not necessarily from those people but like you know it affects them it doesn't just you know go oh well it's all equal now we'll move on because at the beginning of the book they're like okay we'll just get our revenge and we'll move on and it's just like it's not necessarily how it happens so yeah i really hope that you guys pick up burn for burn it's a really like great contemporary novel um it's not one of those like greatest ever or like john green that teaches you all the lessons and it's not like preachy at all it's just kind of like fun contemporary. Let's see where this goes. What happens if? And it just kind of goes along there. And it's awesome. And I liked it. I feel like I'm just kind of needing to say, I liked this because I liked it. You can't judge me. But, uh, really, I just, I just liked it. I thought it was a good book. I, at the end, I was like, what the crap is gonna happen? Because it's crazy, crazy things. So if you like things that are a little bit more dramatic, but not necessarily like Gossip Girl dramatic, but just kind of good, good drama. Which, 
I don't know if there's such a thing as good drama, but this is like what I would consider to be like good drama. So you should go pick up this book, this one right here, not the one that I have in my hands. Just go to your local bookstore or go on Amazon if you want to, whatever you feel like is best. And uh, go, go read this. It's good. And if you've read it already, tell me what you think. Because it's one of those books that would be really good for like a book club. There's a lot of like things that you could ask questions about and have discussion questions about. So that, there's an idea. So have a great day and keep reading.